shit. And you know what? That's something. That's something to admit. Well, that's something to say. Something to know. Let's hope that won't be the case for this record. I, I'm hoping. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I think that, uh, first of all, Richie's music isn't all unlistenable, and many people find it. Certainly. They find a home in it. But the point is, you want to make music that someone might find a home in. And how do you study that? How do you do that? I mean, you know that your record is going to communicate to a lot of people who feel music the same way. It's just a certain message in that music. Yeah. People, yeah. people want it. They want that message. Some people do. Right. You know, Certainly. Yeah, man. Well, I'm just looking forward to having these folks finally hear it. John, I just wanted to wrap things up and thank you again for joining us today. I mean, this has just been such, I've learned so much and, you know, we've known each other almost <laughs> ten, oh, 10 years now and I just learned a whole lot. <laughs> so I hope well, I was, I was listening to it too and just thanks again, man. I appreciate it. Talk. I'm a blabbermouth and I never know what I'm thinking until I learn my mouth. <laughs> so I appreciate the opportunity, Jack, as always. <laughs> oh, of course, man. And uh, again, you can find John's tune, Sensitive Like Ladies, on the uh, first half half of our album love is a song anyone can sing uh and john can they find do you have a website can they find your music somewhere you know i don't really right now but i'm working on getting some of my older stuff online i actually bobby reed is starting a new record company in charlottesville and it's an active philanthropy really it's called small world records small world records he's putting out through his own incredible efforts the music of all of his friends of which he has a million musical friends that all do different kinds of music and he's just putting it out putting it on CD Baby, setting up the income stream so that it goes to the artist. He's making nothing. He's just doing it. He feels like it's his way of giving back because he's such a genius with, you know, computers and engineering and not to mention the, one of the greatest musicians on the planet, Bobby Reed. Well, he and I did a project years ago. We played this live score that I wrote to the silent film Faust by Men, Men Now. It's a t 1926. And we did it with um, five musicians. Uh, he played seven instruments on it, Bobby did. And Eric Stassen was the drummer who also played timpani, uh, marimba, and chimes. And then Greg Howard played stick and recorded it. It was a total little fly-by-night, you know, makeshift music endeavor, which I'm thinking of starting a new publishing company, make, makeshift music. But anyway, um, we, uh, you know, they, Bobby remastered it. And it's an amazing thing. It, I mean, I hated it for years because we had played it three times, two hour show, and when we recorded it, my chops were completely dead. But actually that helped because I didn't play so many damn notes. So anyway, um, <laughs> that's out on that's out on his label, and all my stuff is going to be out on CD Baby, CD Baby pretty soon. I've got a new record coming out with Kate Dunton pretty soon, Bob Mitzer, so that's going to come out in January, and a lot of good stuff. I mean, who knows what ever happens with this music? Sometimes I just want to go on the road and be like a homeless person and play my trumpet on the street because I know from experience in New York that you can really survive that way and that is the way of the future. That is total independence and job security. Anything that you can do off the grid and make dough is job security in this uncertain world, I think. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's very true. Anyway, man. Well, John, thanks I'm again. Roll, I could man. talk to you all day like this. And Tomas, thank oh, you. Oh, I know. So sweet of you to facilitate. He's not there, but tell him thanks. I will for sure. All right. Thanks again, y'all. Right. You've been listening to Front of the Line with Jack Kilby with my guest, John Durth. Hope you've enjoyed what you heard, and you can find his tune, Sensitive Like Ladies, on the album. Talk to you next time. Question, what will you find on all over-the-counter or OTC medicine packages to help you choose the right drug and use it safely? The answer, the Drug Facts label. This label lists the medicine's active ingredients and purpose, how much to take, and warnings you should know before using it. Remember, even OTC medicines you buy without a prescription can cause side effects you don't want. So follow the information listed on the Drug Facts label. For more information, visit fda.gov slash drug facts label. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Jack Kilby and the Frontline's debut release, Love is a Song Anyone Can Sing, Volume 1, is available now at all your favorite online music retailers, as well as streaming services. 